News at 10 starts now. Good evening, everyone. I'm Chad Nero. And I'm Lauren Culver. Thanks for watching KX News. North Dakota law enforcement handles stressful situations every day, and excessive force is something they try not to use. Cressa Stinchcomb shows us how some tactical training is helping officers calmly handle dangerous scenarios in our top story tonight. You have to get off the pickup. Protests don't happen all the time in our state, but that doesn't mean officers don't find themselves in tight spots. Domestic violence, bar fights, and assaults are a few of what officers can encounter. The smallest things that we go to in law enforcement are the biggest things that get us hurt. 13 law enforcement officers learn different ways to de-escalate a stressful situation at the Blue Shield training course. Communication skills, using empathy, and establishing a rapport are some of the tactics being taught. Uh, rapport is one of the biggest things that saves our life, and it also helps us create that connectivity to where we can use words and de-escalate things safer. Officers have to separate their emotions when they respond to any scene and it isn't always easy. The Dakota Access Pipeline protest is a prime example. Hour after hour, you're, you're having insults hurled at you, and you have to you know, take, a, take a step back and realize it's not personal, that they're, you know, many times they're just trying to get a rise out of you, but you know, you're also human, so there, you know, there, is a, there is that factor as well that can uh, you know, affect how a person responds. But the officers role-played situations to practice separating emotions while building relationships. <laughs> We, we have to realize that uh, in, when emotions are there, that they're, they're not really upset. They're upset at us as the organization, not us as the police. They don't know me personally. When I show up at a call, they don't know who I am. They, they don't know my motives, my values, personalities, things like that. It's their hope that learning these basics can help them de-escalate any situation without using excessive force. For KX News, I'm Caressa Stinchcomb. Officers from all over the state and even from out of state attended the three-day training. A welfare check in.